All right, here's the fun of picking out O-rings of a motorcycle chain. It's actually not too bad. Um, a little tedious. I haven't gotten too far out of it, um, but I have gotten some done. Um, thought I'd try it after watching the video Brock's made. Um, so this is a 520RK GXW chain. Um, it was the lightest, strongest chain I could find that was reasonably priced. Before I had a Regina 520 drag chain, the non-O-ring version of it. Um, everywhere I saw it said that that thing had as much tensile strength as the 530. Um, when I actually was looking at tensile strength and whatnot on line, it had less tensile strength than the, um, than the 530 by quite a bit. Um, so this one's a little bit stronger. Um, it should be a, I think, believe it was a little bit lighter. If anybody's curious, um, send me a message or post it. I can email you the spreadsheet I made. Um, but here's a couple of them um, removed. It's going to be crazy different. As you can see, this part has the O-rings non-removed, or er, removed, picked out. Um, I've just been using this little craftsman pick and a needle nose to kind of yank them out. Um, but... This little section just moves so freely, even with the stock heavy duty grease that comes in it. Then you get over here. Yeah. No O rings. O rings. So I'm going to try the Brocks. I did buy a cheap, um, a cheap little hot pan and a cheap walk on at Walmart for um, dirt cheap and bought some cheap um, synthetic zero weight oil to try and cook it out of like Brock did on his video um, and the bike um, quick update it has no motor um, I sent the head out to get um, to try a new thing on the head um, the guy that did the head work said he picked up some horsepower and whatnot on the ZX14s and the um, and the boost is so going to give it a shot. Um, what else do I got here? Um, another trick I see people um, question about. Here's the, the bird cage, they call it, has been removed. I took out the mesh that was on here to try and um, disrupt any airflow as possible. I'm going to try and get um, the funds can swing it, maybe an MRW or MWR, whatever they are. Um, big ram air um, and probably just run the track plastic since I won't see a lot of street time anymore uh, maybe just get a little light to mount on it um, I'd like to do that um, I would like a grudge tank but that might not happen um, but yeah um, any other tips or tricks I can think of um, I'll try and post them up as I keep working on it um, I did get um, I figured out the bungs. I'm going to put the, the bungs um, right up by the head. Um, I saw a post on the DSM Tuners guy's website that said he's had um, his wideband sensors sitting that close for the longest time. So I'm going to try it, see what happens. Um, worst comes to worst. The sensors have a year warranty, so if I toast one, I might just go get a new one, finish the tuning, and... and get a new one or whatever it is. Um, I also bought the piston to valve clearance um, tester that's coming. Um, finally just got my own top dead center um, apart from APE. That looks really slick. So back to picking some of these out for another little bit and keep picking away at it and having fun.